Hi, welcome to In the Studio here at Davis Media Access. I'm your host, Emily Merton, and today joining me are guests from the Rebecca Lodge. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you um, for having us. Why don't you start out by introducing yourselves and telling me a little bit about what you do at the Rebecca Lodge. Well, I'm Leah Rosenberg. <clears throat> I've been with the Rebeccas for about 10 years. I'm a past grand, and we are now coming, getting ready to do a big fundraiser for the um, Children's Home in Gilroy. Great. And I'm Mary Superak. I've been a Rebecca for approximately five years, and I've had her as my noble grand in the past, and I chair the Community Support Committee. And the Rebeccas are an organization, used to be for the women of the Odd Fellow members, but now it's uh, you can be either a male or female and be in the lodge. And our focus is foster care and helping children that have serious needs and we do a lot of different fundraisers during the year one of them is breakfast with santa just to let you know oh, awesome. so yeah that's great to know so tell me a little bit more about what the rebecca's are exactly and how it's connected to the odd fellows how does it all kind of connect well okay. they're used you know davis is lucky in that we have two lodges we have the davis odd fellow lodge and we have the davis rebecca lodge both active lodges in davis um, and our lodges are with members of both lodges, whether you're male or female, you're happy, everyone's welcome to join the both lodges. And we um, like to have taken a focus on foster kids and emancipated kids, and that's where our money and our focus is going. Um, what the Rebecca's and the Odd Fellows do, as, like Leah was saying, we now have a mix of male and female, both are service organizations. And the ser these service organizations, they want to bring people together. So not only are you helping another organization by doing uh, an activity to bring them some support, you're also bringing the community together so that they are educated about what we do and about the program. Instead of just sending, you know, you've not, every, everything is now on the internet. This way, people come together, they have fun, they get to know each other within their own community, and they get to work together towards a certain goal that then goes back out into the community. So basically, that's what the Odd Fellows are. Odd Fellows and Rebecca's were considered odd, right? <laughs> yes. Because they were helping people <laughs> at, at a time in our history when a lot of organizations beyond the churches mm -hmm. were helping people. So we're basically a service organization. Okay, well, I think that's really wonderful that you guys have events instead of, you know, it's so easy to set up just a GoFundMe or a way to yeah. just raise money online right. or something. But yeah. I really understand how this brings the community together. Yeah. So why did you choose this particular home to um, fundraise for? Well, in the beginning, there was uh, the Rebecca's had a children's home in every community or in every state. This is the last one in all the United States, the Rebecca Children's Home in Gilroy. They um, work with children that are on a level 14 uh, level, so they're hard to place kids, and uh, it needs support from all the Rebecca Lodges in California, and we've chosen this as our project to support them. They have many different... Uh, projects going and we want to make sure they're well funded. That's yeah. very important. I'm so glad you guys are doing this. So how are you raising the money so far? Well, can I, can I tag on just a, a little bit more oh, of course. for people so, of course. so that they know and then we'll, we'll tell you about that because that's going to be so much fun. Some of what Leah was uh, just scratching the surface on, some of the programs that the Rebecca Service and the Rebecca Home does, and I just wanted to let you know they house an adoption center so that Rebecca Children's Services and um, other organizations can come together and help the foster youth find placement or actually uh, have adoption centers. That's they wonderful. have the Culinary mm -hmm. Academy now, wow. which is a big project. Mm -hmm. The Culinary Academy, um, it's for youth 15 to 25, and they are in a class. It's part of the hospitality industry. And it's a 10-week course, and they have to be there three hours, three-hour sessions twice a week. 
not only are they taking the class, they have to wear the, the appropriate attire so that they get this whole self-esteem about, I am doing something for myself. And once they graduate, they're helped with placement. Mm -hmm. that's and so then wonderful. they go out and they, they have, have jobs. jobs. So that's wonderful. Um, and they learn all different culinary skills. There's also the Family Resource Center because sometimes the, the children and the families, there's, there's a struggle. And with the Family Resource Center, they can come there and learn ways to be together. We're focusing on uh, what's, what they call foster care, but the Rebecca's actually call it, and I, I just love this, family linkage. <laughs> You're linking people together. Yeah, totally. And so that they become a family, because that's part of the, the program with the Rebecca's, is to make it work. And if for some reason a, a young person is unable to be with a particular family, then the home can, and it's a co-housing population, the home then gives them all the, the support, the health support, the mental health support, the staffing, is there's nurses, there's um, psychiatrists, of course, you know, you saw the Culinary Institute, housing uh, skills for then setting up your own ho housing eventually. So there's a lot of that. Then they have the hospital diversion program. So you don't have to be an emancipated youth going into another facility with no family for health care. You can be at the children's home and get your hospital care that you need. They also have the, like the Davis uh, Independent Study. They mm -hmm. have a school in three different locations in California. Then they have the outpatient mental health and prevention and education. It goes on and on and yeah, on. Yeah. And the yeah. residential treatment, which is what we're focusing on again, it's like she was saying, um, for the residential treatment, 24-hour service, seven days a week, mm. on-site psychiatric care, pharmaceutical services, licensed CCLs, and all these different therapists. So it goes on and on and on and on. So there's wow. so much that's happening with the Rebecca Children's Home and the Rebecca Children's Services. I just want to give everybody an yeah. overview of there's a lot that goes into it, and they are accredited. They've been accredited since 2006, and the Rebecca Services in the house was was formed in 1897. Wow. Yeah. So it's over 115 years old. And still so here helping. It's, still, it's the it's, last one. It's a, and it started out as an orphanage, as they all of mm -hmm. them did in mm -hmm. each state, as an orphanage. But as they've gone bye-bye, we've yeah. picked up other services and community needs to uh, support these kids. Yes, well, hopefully we can all wait, raise awareness for this and keep yes. it going because it sounds like such a wonderful program. But it does sound like it costs a lot of money to support because there are a lot of youth who need this help oh, and this outreach. Yeah. So how are you going about that? Well, we have de many different programs, but the one we're focusing on right now is called Bollywood for Foster Care, oh. Bollywood for Family Linkage. How fun. I yeah. think we have a video, right? Oh, that would be wonderful. Do we want to show that video? Yes, let's show the video. that looks like a oh, lot of it's fun. it's going to be a lot of fun. So why don't you talk about what's going to happen on April 2nd. April 2nd. Well, when you arrive at the Oddfellow Lodge on April 2nd, there'll be two floors bustling with activity. On the bottom floor, the lower hall as we call it, is going to be an Indian buffet made by Mary Phillips and her cooking staff. I'm so looking forward to it. Be 98% vegetarian, and then she's going to have chicken mansala. So you'll be able to have 
your wonderful Indian dinner downstairs and places to sit and so on and so forth. And then you'll be ascended up to the dance room, okay? And up there, Prashant and his dance company, you know, Prashant is, he's a, a Cornell graduate. He went into business and he decided that he wanted to share his culture. And this is how it came about, sharing his culture through dance. And now he goes around and does these programs for people. Wonderful. So his dance troupe will be teaching about eight different Bollywood dances. Wow. So they'll teach us the dance and then we'll get to do it. So upstairs will be a complete dance floor and you'll be trans, you know, you'll be transformed in many ways and you'll mm -hmm. be learning these dances and he'll, he's doing all the music um, through tapes. He's picking out, I told him this was a family friendly one. So it's not gonna be like uh, techno the night before he's gonna be in San Francisco and that's gonna be totally techno kind of, but this is gonna be more of a family friendly one. and really help people understand what is Bollywood, what is, is the culture, where is it coming from? I love the whole idea that in a Bollywood movie or a Bollywood experience, if things aren't going well, it's gonna continue forever until everyone is happy. <laughs> so movies could go for hours and hours. And this is what it is, that's why it says you will laugh, you will dance, you will fall in love because it's, it's about having a very good time. Um, also, we will have different areas where people can look at, look at um, items that we'll have there for a special um, activity. Then you oh. have to come and find out what those activities are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some of them involve King's tickets for the next season. Oh. Yeah, I know. We're in we'll box seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it'll be colorful. Uh, some of my friends are going to come and help decorate. We're going to have some saris and different outfits that people want to. You don't have to dress up, but if you want to, we'll have some laying around. And we'll also have beer and wine for sale um, at the event, and soda and water and things like that, too. Wonderful. So when you're at the event, how can you learn more about what it's going to be supporting? Because it sounds oh. like a lot of fun, but you're also doing a lot of good. Oh, yeah. We're, we'll be talking about it. There'll be some um, downstairs, and then Parshant has graciously offered to talk about it in between, telling about it. I'll be there. I don't think you'll be there, Leah, right? I, You're going to be, you'll be at another function yeah, that day. Yeah, I'll be at another Oddfellow function. Oh, yeah, she has to be at a, a big um, gathering at another location. I'll be there. There'll be other people there that will be talking about the Rebecca Children's Home. Um, we will have a poster, and then our wonderful secretary, Nicole, who couldn't be here this today because she's at a conference, she's going to have a, a little mini video uh, looping that we'll Wonderful. have. So things like that. Yeah, Wonderful. there'll be ads all around about what the Rebecca Children's Home is about. Awesome. So is there a certain particular um, aspect of the home that this fundraiser will be helping or just all around? The, the, I'm glad you brought that up because we're focusing on the facility itself where it houses the... Um, the young people, the, the, the kids that are there, because they need to have a, a nice place to live. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that the facility has the updates that it, that it needs, like any building. This is a beautiful building. If you go on site, it's very Spanish, and it's got, you know, the stucco outside, except it's really old. It was built in, what, 1897. 18, yeah, right. So we want to, you know, just make sure that it's healthy, healthy mm -hmm. environment and all of that, and it, and it has you know, what it needs mm -hmm. to make the, make the, um, the residents safe. Also, any monies that, uh, excuse me, any donations and so on and so forth that they have, that they are given, they can utilize it. If they don't need to do any repairs, then it will go into the programs mm -hmm. I talked about to make sure that the staffing ratio is what it should be, make sure that the the young people that are there, they have the therapies that they need. And sometimes it's one-on-one -on -one therapy. Sometimes it could be a play therapy or a group therapy. It, you don't know because it's individual care that each one, they have their own individual care plan. So, um, and then the other part is what will happen when they're discharged. With this particular part that we are um, doing our program for is also to help them when they have housing. Do they need a bed? Mm -hmm. Do they need a couch? Do they need a rice maker? Whatever. They have those. Because just imagine how tough it is as a person with a family 
if you are disenfranchised and you don't have the strong family support, even if you've gone through this particular areas for those that are having more difficult time, mm -hmm. we try to make it so that they succeed. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I so. think, yeah, this money will really help support them and in a yeah. fun way oh. where, you know, you could get involved, you can go to this event. If you want to know more about it, you can go to the website that's on screen and there's a link to all about the fundraiser. So that is davislodge.org. Thank you so much for talking about this today. It's very important and it's a good way to have fun if you want something to do, support a good cause. So thank you so much for joining us thank today. Thank you. And I have a little gift for, oh. for Davis um, Media Access, a couple of our um, entry, little like the golden oh, tickets, okay? Thank you. And you know, they're, they're common ground for awesome. anybody's interested. <laughs> Sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, and All I right. appreciate you having us here today. Oh yeah, I appreciate you being here. If you wanna see more videos, of Davis Media Access, you can log on to dctv.davismedia.org. I was your host, Emily Merton, and thank you for watching.